cataractcoach.com using Tripan Blue to stay in the trabecular meshwork. By standing the TM, it's easier to perform in the MIGS procedure. Let's watch the case here. Now, a little bit of Tripan Blue going in the eye, standing the trabecular meshwork there nasally. It's not to stay in the capsule. We don't worry about that because you got a beautiful red reflex. There's no issue there. Now, let's watch this procedure carefully. We're going to start off by doing the cataract surgery first. But before we get to that, let me tell you about RetinaRounds.com, our new channel. Retina Rounds is about retina surgery. New video every day, just like Cataract Coach. Sign up there on YouTube, but more importantly, go to retinarounds.com and sign up for the free daily email. I promise you'll love it. Now, getting back to our case here, our guest surgeon here is Dr. Mohammed Sayed. He's our friend from Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. And you may recognize the name because we had him here on our Cataract Coach podcast, the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. And you can hear his incredible story. He was faculty at Baskin Palmer in Miami. Can you imagine that? It was his biggest childhood dream. He achieved it. If you want to know how, listen to the Cattle Coach podcast. And now he's presenting to us a beautiful case he did here in Dubai. Now, it's a cataract surgery, plus we're going to do a mix procedure. So we sped the video up. Don't worry about that. The cataract goes pretty smoothly. You can see he's obviously an incredible surgeon doing a beautiful chop technique here, getting the cataract out pretty easily. They've got a patient here who's probably elderly, let's say 80 years old or older, and patient's already on three topical medica medications for glaucoma and has a cataract. So, hey, you're going to do the cataract. You may as well address some of the glaucoma issues as well. Now, as you know, a mixed procedure may not resolve the glaucoma completely forever, but it can at least eliminate some of the medication burden for the patient. So beautiful chop technique here. You love how the pieces come down very efficiently. I also love the little t details, like what a beautiful draping. All the eyelashes are out of the way. The lid margin is sequestered. I like the eyes in primary. The microscope is centered. The video is in focus. I mean, those little things, that's the indication you're dealing with a truly expert surgeon here. So beautiful case here. Gosh, by the way, you got to check out that podcast. It's You got to look it up on Cataract Coach or Spotify or Amazon or Google or wherever you find your podcasts, Apple. It's an amazing podcast. Now, here comes the lens going in the capsule bag. Now, glaucoma patient, you're going to want to put in a what? A monofocal lens. I agree with you there. You know, if I was going to have cataract surgery in my own eyes tomorrow, I'd choose a monofocal lens because you know why? I prioritize image quality over everything else. And that's it. So... But again, I'm also a low myope, but I like myopia, so I'll keep myopia. Now, look, more tripan blue. Why? To further stain that nasal trabecular meshwork. That's important here. And so you're going to get that stained here because in this patient, it's very hard to see. Now, how do you know it's hard to see? Because in the pre-op examination of the patient and the consultation, you put up the gonio prism and said, hey, look, it's really hard to see the TM. So you know that in advance. Often a case in these patients with very lightly pigmented eyes. Now, going in here with the gonio prism, you can look. There's the angle. The tripan blue dye worked very well. Let's see. Putting in, looks like an ice dent device. Ooh, kind of didn't, didn't go quite where you wanted. That's okay. Let's put in the second one. Looks like the ice dent inject. And now let's go back to the first one and get that one in position. You want to make sure that both of these ice dents are in the appropriate positioning. And they're stable inside the eye. They're not free floating and they're not going to be washed out. So again, you can try again to get that reloaded, put it back in position, and get it right where you want it. And once you do this, you're going to have these two eye stents placed there in the trabecular meshwork, and that's going to help lower the intraocular pressure. And so now let's see the end of the case here. Looks pretty good. The stents are in good position. And let's examine again. And looks pretty nice. Let's see. Going to go back inside the eye. A little more viscous going inside there just to examine, perhaps, and ensure placement. And again, luckily, we use the tripan blue dye to stain because that makes it a lot easier to see exactly what's going on in this case here. And so once you finish with this, now let's go back, remove the viscoelastic from behind the eye well, from the anterior chamber, from everywhere, and finish up the case here. So again, beautiful case here. This is something that definitely every anterior segment surgeon can do. If you're a cataract surgeon, I promise you can do a mixed procedure like this. It's not that big of a deal, and you're going to help your patient out. Again, just choosing the right patient and the right technique for each patient. And again, use the technique of tripan blue staining. It can help you stain that trabecular meshwork and make your life a lot easier. Even in a case like this where the capsule 
it was very easily visible. Great red reflex. You don't need the tripan for that. The tripan was a straight to stain the trabecular meshwork. And the case looks beautiful. Everything's still up great. Wow, fantastic taste. Thank you for sitting me in the case. Remember, check out runarounds.com, our new sister channel. You're going to love it. Sign up for the daily email. It's free at runarounds.com.